S&P estimates fell way below expectations, and the Fed says the economy still needs improvement. But my next guest says, hey, don't worry about it. Markets are looking to be in good shape. He may regret saying that ahead of today's interview. Uh, he is betting that consumers are going to start stepping up their spending. Let's bring in Hennessy Funds co-portfolio manager Brian Peary. Okay, Brian, yes, you said this to our producers before today's uh, big sell-off. So, you know, fair and balanced here. But what do you say about the sell-off in particular today? You know, honestly, I like days like today because this gives us an opportunity to really find some names that we like at discounted prices. Look, if you can, if you can kind of get away from the headlines of the day and really take a little bit longer focus, we think things are getting much better. Uh, we think the consumer spending is going to start to take up as the year progresses. And with that, you know, Q1 is kind of behind us, and, and we think Q2, Q3, Q4 gets significantly better as we go down the road. So. You know, days like today, if you can pick up some stocks on, on a discount, is a, is a great day to do it. You know, one of the things that, and I have to say, this has really surprised me, not just from the GDP number that we got the read for Q1, but also the fact that you know, we've had low pri gas prices, oil prices, et cetera, and it didn't really translate to the consumer. People are nervous about spending. They're still nervous about their own net worth, their, their home, et cetera. What do you say to the concern about the consumer? You know, I, I think it's justified to a certain extent. I think that the job picture is getting better. I think that the wage increase is going to come over time that, that we've all been looking for. Um, there is a lot of good news out there, but it is going to take some time to kind of work through it. I think with the lower oil prices, you know, what you've seen is, yeah, you've got an increase in some discretionary spending, especially on the lower end um, and middle income consumer. But they've been smart about it. I mean, they're not going out and spending it and in, in increasing their debt. They're saving it. but. You know, if you just look at the history of, of consumers over time, it, there's only going to get to a point where they're going to save so much and then they're going to start to go, OK, well, look, I, I've got enough in the bank. I've paid down my, my debt uh, a little bit. So now I want to kind of reward myself. And we think that, you know, there's some companies out there which will benefit from that. And, and it kind of spans a, a, a number of spectrums. But, uh, well, but I think you, the okay. consumer comes back. We've been teasing it into your interview. So here we go. So you say if people are ready to spend some money, they're going to J.C. Penney. You know, look at look at what they're looking for. They're looking for value and they're looking for, you know, to replace things that might have worn out. And they're really looking for uh, some place where they can feel good about the purchases that they make and not spend a lot of money to do it. You know, J.C. Penney is coming back from a really bad image. Management is is running the business effectively now, we think. You know, they're increasing their, their store um, presence by adding stuff like Sephora in there. The jewelry segment's doing well. It's going to take some time to come back, but we think at these levels, it's really a reasonably priced stock. You also like JetBlue, and I think that that's interesting, you know, in particular, because airlines have just been on a tear. But if oil prices start to go up, isn't JetBlue going to kind of feel that a little bit? Well, you know, I think JetBlue, and, and I think there's a, a number of airlines that have done exceptionally well. JetBlue is certainly a significant player. Um, you know, as they move kind of upstream and get more towards their mint side, I think they capture additional clientele, which gives them a little bit better revenues. You know, ultimately, though, the, uh, the airlines industry is really kind of an oligopoly at this point, and you're really competing on how well you're, you're addressing your customers. And I think, you know, the numbers that come out from JetBlue are they doing a fantastic job in, in knowing who their customers are and treating them um, you know, accordingly, and th they're going to get rewarded for that. Well, Brian, you made your case. Good one. Jeff Blue, J.C. Penny, good picks from you. Brian Perry, Hennessy Funds Co-Portfolio Manager. Brian, thank you. Thanks, Cheryl.